Hello, here's Nate, and welcome to lesson 5 uh, about controllers programming. We'll talk about presenting the programming screen and its area. In lesson 4, you learn how to install your software for programming in Pinpack, or especially to program in Superbrain. So, in general, writing a program for, for controllers is done by using Pinpack. This is this program, a software under the Windows platform. The program writing is done graphically in the program screen that you see here. So this is graphically. Um, the program screen um, is used for writing programs and sending them to the controllers. The program is then is done by dragging function from the left area of the screen this you go and click and you can determine this okay we'll talk about that later um, the program is done by dragging function from the left area of the screen like I showed you before to the programming area and connecting this function together like you see here we will talk to that in uh, the less, in lesson six. Uh, the program area is divided into two into columns in which is it is possible to place different programming function from the function pole located at the left of the screen. So, like I did before, from here to here, uh, the placed function should be wired, connecting input to output, like here. Uh, by clicking on it, you can connect this uh, input to output. This was better do again. I can click here when it's one and do it by just clicking on it, and it's wired. Uh, the output of the function placed in the first column here. Uh, can be wired only to inputs of function placed in the second column. Uh, the output of the function placed in the second column can be wired only to output of the function placed in the third column here. So this uh, output goes to this input and this output goes to this input and etc. etc. Clicking on a function with the right button on the mouse will open a menu with an additional action. So you can see properties or whatever you, we want to do. So the, the function area, uh, that's this, this is the function area. We have function here, uh, math function, logish function, time function, if function, control, parameters, list, uh, general and list. Um, this contains uh, the available programming function. The functions are divided into categories, like you see here. Selecting a category is done by clicking on the chosen category button uh, and the clicking on the desired function. In lesson 6, when uh, you will create your own program, you will see how does this work and what does this mean here. Here is the menu and button area. This area contains menu and buttons that enable different actions such as save, edit and print as well as debugging and compiling like you see here. Mm. Compiling means that uh, the program is translated into language that, uh, the, that can be sent to the super brain and <clears throat> The definition area, that's here, definition. Uh, this area contains the program definition, the program files, the I input output tables, IO, here, alarms, communication with subunits and panels. So as you see here, here are IO function and here are IO functions. So first we have to define the inputs and outputs here. We have analog, digital, and then we can program. You will see later that how to do. So, thank you for 
collaborating in lesson six we will talk about your first program and I will show you how to do your program